and range? The, uh, you know, that's one question everybody asks. So it's a really, really short range aircraft. How does it range? What's well, a really, really short range aircraft? Well, the criticism sometimes made of F-35 is, wow, you know, this is a very, very short range aircraft. Uh, but, you know, if you look at it in comparison to early modern 18s or, or Harrier or a number of other airplanes, it would have range. How's the range of the aircraft from an operator's perspective? I think people that say it doesn't have the range are someone that probably looks at a single engine aircraft and thinks, oh, it's just an F-16. It ain't an F-16. I fly on a regular basis two, two training stories worth of training that I would do in an F-15C model with two external tanks on it. So where I would go, up, go out and do one offensive push where we would do basically one offensive strike into the area and out and then, hey, I'm bingo, I've got to go home on fuel with the F-15C. Uh, in the F-35, I'll go out and do two of those without any problem. And one of the things that we found up in the exercise up in Wisconsin was after we were done firing our weapons, after we were done getting everybody into and out of the combat area, uh, if we wanted to go on and keep fighting at that point in time, they would ask us to stick around because of all the sensors we could provide and the data link we could provide to help the 4th Gen aircraft who still had missiles on board. We saw the fuel and the sensors to be able to provide that information for them. So it's got legs. It's got really long legs. And just remember, too, when you talk about the comparison between other airplanes, a combat configuration for an F-35 and an F-22 is a completely low observable configuration. You want to compare the capability, oh, can you put these missiles on, put these bombs on in a fortune airplane, and then compare the range? That's pylons, that's tanks, that's all the external carriage. It's slow, it's draggy, it's susceptible to, to threats. A lot of times you have to get rid of that stuff just to stay alive. So the, the, the comparison point is just often just not done correctly. It's sort of something we chuckle on the inside. Anybody who's been in combat in an F-18 F or F-16 knows you are lugging a lot of stuff on the outside of your airplane. It takes a lot of gas, and it's very slow to get it there and back. The fifth generation platform and a Raptor and F-35 to carry all that stuff, it doesn't change the dynamic of the airplane at all. And so that side-by-side -side comparison is, is just it's unfair. Uh, and ultimately, the idea that sort of a legacy airplane is better at doing that than a fifth generation airplane, it, it's just simply not true.